So you're staring down your Thetford RV toilet, and it's a sad day because it doesn't seem to be holding water anymore. Letting the situation persist isn't preferable because eventually the gasket will dry rot and you might start smelling what the black tank's cooking. There's three possible causes here. Number one, dirt or debris. Sometimes a combination of toilet stuff, hair, or hard water can build up on both the gasket as well as the flap or waste ball. If that's the case, all you need to do is shut off the water to the RV and wipe it all down with towels and a vinegar solution on both sides as best as you can. If that solves the problem, great. But if not, let's keep going. Number two, the flap or waste ball won't close all the way. This is a subtle one. In my case, I noticed that the flap didn't quite close all the way after flushing the toilet, causing water to leak out of the bowl. If you look closely, when I press upwards on the foot pedal, the flap moves just a touch forward, creating a full seal. To repair this, you'll need to grease the foot pedal mechanism using silicone grease. And it's specifically silicone grease because anything petroleum-based can degrade or destroy plastic. You can find some silicone grease in a plumbing supply store, but I'll also leave a link for it in the description. Start by shutting off the water and flushing the toilet to depressurize it. Next, remove the foot pedal by pulling on it. In my case, I noticed that there was a significant amount of plastic shavings, indicating that there was too much friction on the mechanism. Start by wiping off any debris. Then, apply a liberal amount of grease to the three moving touch points, the flap arm, the spring mechanism, as well as the tube and shaft, and the water valve mechanism. Now comes the tricky part, putting the foot pedal back on. The toilet waste ball valve has to be up all the way, or rotated clockwise to the stopping point. The water valve should also be rotated clockwise to the stopping point. You'll be doing a bit of a juggle. You have to align everything just right. The flap arm goes here, in the square recess. The spring goes here. The tube goes here. And the water valve arm goes into this narrow elliptical recess. Start with a spring and tube, here where it says spring on the foot pedal. Rotate slightly, insert the two arms, and press the pedal in. In fairness, following this procedure only bought me about a week before the problem returned, and the waste ball didn't close all the way. At this point, we'll go to the third and final solution I have on offer. Number three, replacing the gasket and waste ball cleaning. If all else fails and the toilet still doesn't hold water in the bowl, it might be time to replace the gasket. You'll need to order the correct gasket, and for that, you'll need to know the toilet model number or name. Ordinarily, you should be able to find a sticker somewhere behind the toilet that has the model number on it. Alternatively, and I don't know if this is exclusive to what Thor does, but our closet has a bill of materials list that lists the exact toilet model number. In any case, I have the Thetford Aquamagic Style 2, and the gasket I listed in the description should also fit the Style Light, Style Plus, and residence toilets. Let's party! The first thing you should do is drain your black tank to minimize the smell, because we'll be removing the top half of the toilet. Shut the water to the RV off, then depressurize everything by flushing the toilet a couple of times. Get a few towels ready, because it'll probably drip some water while you work. Remove the clamp on the clear water supply line using channel locks, then slide the hose off the barb. Behind the toilet in the cavity, there will be two 3 8 inch bolts to remove. The space is quite cramped, so I highly recommend an electric ratcheting wrench here to speed up the process. Remove the bolts and don't lose the two washers that each bolt has. You can now remove the toilet by twisting it counterclockwise, then pulling it up. As before, pull on the foot pedal orthogonally to the toilet in order to remove it. Fair warning, from here, the footage increasingly will show copious amounts of brown. Do your best to remain sanitary, try not to touch anything with soiled hands. If you do, make sure you wipe it down with bleach or sanitation wipes. Remove the old gasket, then remove the plastic ring it sat on. The waste ball is held by a Phillips screw here. Unscrew it, then remove the plastic arm or actuator and set it aside. The waste ball is flexible, so by squeezing it from both sides, you can slip it out. Just make sure you don't lose this rubber gasket in the process. Take this opportunity to wipe down the waste ball as well as the mating surfaces here and here. Next, using a towel or Q-tip, grease every friction point that the waste ball has. 
grease the opening for the tube, and also grease the plastic cylinder or waste ball actuator. Insert the waste ball back into place, followed by the cylinder, then replace the Phillips screw. Tighten it until you can no longer move the cylinder back and forth. Now that the waste ball is attached, take this opportunity to grease the surface of the ball as well, then replace the plastic ring. Reinstall the foot pedal as shown earlier in the video, then wipe off the mating surface for the gasket. For good measure, coat the mating surface and gasket in silicone grease. Insert the new gasket and replace the toilet with a clockwise twisting motion. Then, align the holes with the threaded mounting holes in the back. This is a bit easier said than done, and I just use my phone's camera to help me see what I'm doing. Once aligned, ensure the metal washer is on the bolt first, followed by the nylon washer. Hand thread the bolts, then tighten them. Don't over tighten, because you may crack the toilet bowl, so to check if it's tight, gently try to wiggle the toilet back and forth, and tighten until the toilet doesn't move much anymore. Replace the water supply line along with the clamp, turn your water back on, and test the toilet to see if it holds water in the bowl. With this, your sad day is now a good day, and the great toilet crisis has been averted. Until next time, thank you for watching.